The National Synchrotron Light Source 2 at Brookhaven National Laboratory in Upton, New York is a national user research facility funded primarily by the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Science. NSLS-2 is one of the world's most advanced synchrotron light sources, designed to produce X-rays 10,000 times brighter than BNL's original light source, the National Synchrotron Light Source NSLS. NSLS-2 supports basic and applied research in energy security, advanced materials synthesis and manufacturing, environment, and human health. NSLS-2 is a state-of-the-art, medium-energy electron storage ring 3 billion electron volts. The facility enables the study of material properties and functions with nanoscale resolution and exquisite sensitivity by providing world-leading capabilities for X-ray imaging and high-resolution energy analysis. The facility is open to researchers from academia and industry. NSLS-2 fuels major advances in new energy technologies such as nanocatalyst-based fuel cells, economical use of solar energy, high-temperature superconductors in a high-capacity and high-reliability electric grid, and advanced electrical storage systems for transportation and harnessing intermittent renewable energy sources. Users and partners Topic Users In 2017, NSLS2 served over 1000 researchers, users from academic, industrial, and government laboratories worldwide. Any qualified researcher can submit a peer-reviewed proposal to use NSLS-2. Topic: Partners. NSLS-2 partners with public and private institutions to fund the construction and operation of some of its beamlines. Its partnerships include BNL's Center for Functional Nanomaterials and the National Institute of Standards and Technology, among many others. NSLS-2 is always open for new partnerships. Topic beamlines NSLS-2 currently has 22 beamlines experimental stations open for user operations. When the facility is complete, NSLS-2 will have at least 58 beamlines in operation. The beamlines at NSLS-2 are grouped into six programs, hard X-ray spectroscopy, imaging and microscopy, structural biology, soft X-ray scattering and spectroscopy, complex scattering, and diffraction and in situ scattering. These programs group beamlines together that offer similar types of research techniques for studying the behavior and structure of matter. <laughs> Hard X-ray spectroscopy 6 BM – Materials Measurement 7ID1 spectroscopy soft and tender SST1 under construction 7ID2 spectroscopy soft and tender SST2 under construction 7BM quick x-ray absorption and scattering QAS 8ID inner shell spectroscopy ISS 8BM tender energy x-ray absorption spectroscopy TES Topic: Imaging and microscopy. 3ID hard X-ray nanoprobe (HXN). 4BM X-ray fluorescence microprobe (XFM). 5ID submicron resolution X-ray spectroscopy (SRX). 18ID full field X-ray imaging (FXI) under construction. Topic: Structural Biology. 
16ID Life Science X-ray Scattering LIX 17ID1 Highly Automated Macromolecular Crystallography Beam Line AMX 17ID2 Frontier Microfocusing Macromolecular Crystallography FMX 17BM X-ray Footprinting for Structural Studies of Biological Macromolecules XFP 19ID Biological Microdiffraction Facility NIX Topic soft X-ray scattering and spectroscopy 2ID, soft inelastic X-ray scattering 6 ID, electron spectromicroscopy 2-2IR1, frontier synchrotron infrared spectroscopy FIS under construction 2-2IR2, magnetospectroscopy, ellipsometry and time-resolved optical spectroscopies MET under construction 2-3ID1, coherent soft X-ray scattering CSX1 23ID2 soft x-ray spectroscopy and polarization CSX2 topic complex scattering 10ID inelastic x-ray scattering IXS 11ID coherent hard x-ray scattering CHX 11BM complex materials scattering CMS 12ID soft matter interfaces SMI topic diffraction and in situ scattering 4ID integrated in situ and resonant hard x-ray studies ISR 27ID high energy x-ray diffraction hex under construction 28ID1 total scattering beam line PDF under construction 28ID2 x-ray powder diffraction XPD Topic storage ring parameters NSLS2 is a medium energy 3.0 GeV electron storage ring designed to deliver photons with high average spectral brightness exceeding 1021 pH s in the 2 to 10 keV energy range and a flux density exceeding 1015 pH s in all spectral ranges. This performance requires the storage ring to support a very high current electron beam up to 500 milliamperes with a very small horizontal down to 0.5 nanometer rad and vertical 8 pm rad emittance. The electron beam is stable in its position. Topic: <laughs> Storage ring lattice. The NSLS2 storage ring lattice consists of 30 double bend acromat DBA cells that can accommodate at least 58 beam lines for user experiments distributed by type of source as follows 15 low beta ID straights for undulators or superconducting wigglers 12 high beta ID straights for either undulators or damping wigglers 31 BM ports providing broadband sources covering the IR, VUV, and soft X-ray ranges. Any of these ports can alternatively be replaced by a 3 Pw port covering the hard X-ray range. 4 BM ports on large gap 90 mm dipoles for very far IR. Radiation sources Continuing the tradition established by the NSLS, NSLS-2 radiation sources span a very wide spectral range, from the far infrared down to 0.1 electron volts to the very hard X-ray region greater than 300 keV. This is achieved by a combination of bending magnets, three-pole wigglers, and insertion device ID sources. History Construction of NSLS-2 began in 2009 and was completed on time and under budget in 2014. NSLS-2 saw first light in October 2014. The facility cost $912 million to build, and the project received the DOE's Secretary's Award of Excellence. <laughs> 